I'm Mary Carr. And I'm Christopher Robinson. And this is Poetry Fix. Today's poem comes from a guy who used to be my teacher in graduate school, Robert Haas. He's writing in Virginia when he was visiting the University Old Dominion. So, Old Dominion. The shadows of the late afternoon and the odors of honeysuckle are a congruent sadness. Everything is easy but wrong. I am walking across thick lawns under maples and borrowed tennis whites. It is like the photographs of Randall Jarrell I stared at on the backs of books in college. He looked so sad and relaxed in the pictures. He was translating Chekhov and wore tennis whites. It puzzled me that in his art, like Chekhov's, everyone was lost that the main chance was never seized because it is only there is a thing to be dreamed of, or because someone, somewhere, had set the old words to the new tune, we live by habit and it doesn't hurt. Now the thwack, thwack of tennis balls being hit reaches me. And it is the first sound of an ax in the cherry orchard, or the sound of machine guns where the young terrorists are exploding among poor people on the streets of Los Angeles. I begin making resolutions to take risk, not to stay in the South, to somehow do honor to Randall Jarrell, never to kill myself. Through the oaks, I see the courts, the nets, the painted boundaries, and the people in tennis whites who look so graceful from this distance. Haas has a real ability to get away with with um, superlative statements. Like what? I mean, like all, right? All, none. Right. Um, Everything is easy but wrong. Yeah. Who can say that? I Only, mean, it's, it takes yeah. a takes a pair, doesn't it? Right. You have to be really. You have to really. And I mean, maybe it maybe it has to do with the fact that it always um, it's always counterbalanced. I think in his his poems, and the ones that work, it's counterbalanced by this very um, anchored, sensuous, uh, worldly he's, kind of quality. Yeah, he's right? carnal, right? Yeah, he's, he's in, carnal. He's yeah. in the physical world. He so puts you in that place, you know, in the way the shadows of the afternoon and the odors of honeysuckle are congruent sadness, almost, you know, is just so vague. You don't know what a congruent sadness is, right. but you know that shadows and honeysuckle can make you sad. You can sort of see how shadows and honeysuckle can hmm. make you sad. And that everything is easy but wrong. You know there are those days where you're, you know, everything's just synced in, and there's nothing wrong, and yet you feel um, athwart the planet somehow. You know, hmm. you're just not fully alive. Yeah. And then it comes down to just like the thwack, thwack. It reminds me a lot of, you know, blackberry, blackberry. Yeah, in, uh, he has a poem, a famous a poem that just, ends yeah. Blackberry, Blackberry. But the thing I love about that is he's he's talking about falling in love with literature, really, right? With Chekhov, who wrote The Cherry Orchard, where the whole play is sort of about, you know, the, losing the cherry orchard, this family losing the cherry orchard. And and so when the thwack, thwack comes, he says it's the, it's the sound of the first acts in the cherry orchard. Yeah. It's this old dominion being lost. So, you know, Ray, oh, here's a great thing, too, about Randall Jarrell. He was a suicide, right? I mean, people should know yeah. that. And he was also very handsome, and, and he played tennis, and it, it very, like, he has this great poem about housewives um, in Los Angeles that begins, uh, moving from cheer to joy, from joy to all. Yeah. You know, it's, it, yeah. it, he's from Los Angeles, and it has that kind of effortless California breeziness. Right. And so everything is easy but wrong. You know, a guy who is like this is going to wind up killing himself. And also, then it's Old Dominion, right? He's got this cushy teaching job, right? Mm. You know, like you're a yeah. poet. If you're lucky, you get a big teaching job. And, um, and you're stuck in this academy, the Old Dominion. You're kind of walking in the old footsteps. And uh, we live by habit, and it doesn't hurt. It's another one of those moments like you talked about, right? And I think that the idea of things being lost recurs frequently in his poetry. Oh yeah, well, um, uh, well, in all, uh, you know, in all poetry, I guess. right? But it becomes this, you know, metaphysical event. It's always something about the nature of existence, or it magnifies out 
to that. Wasn't that, don't you, know? you feel that way? I mean, I put some suckers in yeah. the ground, you know, I feel sad about that stuff. But yeah, his, his most famous or most quoted poem perhaps is a, a poem that begins, um, all the new thinking is about loss and this it resembles all the old thinking. I love that though, you're in this, you're in your head, you live by habit and it doesn't hurt and then he goes to the thwack, thwack of tennis balls being hit reaches me mm -hmm. and and he's brought back into the physical world and I I always think when I read this poem a lot of it is about being carnal about being alert and alive in the moment so that you don't just fall into these habits and you just kind of you know dredge around dredge from coffee yeah, shop to it almost seems like Haas is worried that if he doesn't keep his balance perfectly he might trip and fall into his own head and never be able to escape yeah exactly you perfect know? that's a yeah. great way to put it I also love how every single thing he picks is great, like even Los Angeles. You know, he's talking about these terrorists who are going to go fight for justice. What do they do? They shoot a bunch of poor people. You know, it's kind of great, right? Blow up poor people. Yeah. That's a great thing to do. So, and it's also Los Angeles sounds like lost angels. Hmm. And the tennis fights, you know, I mean, it, it you know, are so angelic. And, it, you know, it's the way you have those literary he yeah. heroes and then you... You realize they killed themselves. I mean, bad idea. I, I, I love a recent thing I read about um, John Cheever in his biography. Somebody said, what did you learn from Hemingway? He said, I learned not to blow my head off with a shotgun. <laughs> there, <laughs> are, like a, there are better ways. <laughs> there are better ways, I guess. So anyway, with on that cheerful note, I'm Mary Carr. And I'm Christopher Robinson. And this is Poetry Fix.